I can start recording. The recording. So we're recording. Oh my goodness, we haven't done this. You realize, boys and girls, it has been almost a year. Years. It's been it's been ten months it's since we've done a show. Years. I've done some videos. I've done some drawing. I've, I've I've done some morning drawings. I've done some watercolors and some faces and stuff. But it has been ten months since we've done a show. This thing was covered uh, thirty minutes ago. This thing was covered with crap that is now stacked up behind us. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's now it's now pretty much just stacked up over there because we just took it and just shoved it off to here so that we could all fit at the table. And we still have a problem because we have an addition to our art family. You remember boy boy two who used to be this big and I would put him up under the camera here. Hang on. I would put him come here. I would put him up under the camera like this and I would come up here and I would go it's subliminal baby and I would fan him up under the camera like that three times. Well, Subliminal Baby is huge now. Yeah, I mean, huge. Four or five. And then we had, no, don't turn the camera. That's not safe. And then we had this one. Oh, that's not safe. Girl 2. Girl 2. Uh, five, seven is a lot to hold. Would you put Girl 2, and she's Hello. huge. And I would fan her. Subliminal Hello. Baby. <laughs> sorry. Subliminal. Oh, my sorry. God. I'm, I'm going to die. Sorry. I'm going to die. But now. Yeah, it's hard to pick up things. But now. We have Unique Quishanti La Fontaine, my grandbaby, who just uh, like that. So we actually have a baby again. <laughs> so, yeah. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Go get the others. Oh my god, I'm fat. <laughs> you, don't, you don't understand. She's huge. Yeah, five, oh seven god. and a half. She's Hard taller. Here. She is the tallest person in the house now. No, so, mom's taller than no, me. No, that's a lie. You're By lying. half an inch. No, you're lying. That's She's a lie. taller than me. Can I go get some more? Mom? Can I just question? I go get some more? So, okay. Three dots a, a long time yes. regular. Pikachu is new here. Hello, Pikachu. Hello, Pikachu. I'm, I, I believe she's in Florida. Well, I met Dave. Dave, I met uh, Pikachu there in the chat room. For those of you watching this on YouTube later, uh, we record this live on Ustream. If you can't tell it's live, look at the fat man out of breath sweating. <laughs> we record this live on Ustream Thursday nights from 7 to 9. And so here we are in the studio. Uh, the kids have come to join me. I don't know if they're going to get to do that very often because soccer. <laughs> but so far, so far their practices are going to be on, on Monday nights and Wednesday nights. And they can't go on Wednesday night because that's church, so they won't get to go to the Wednesday night practices. And then their games are always on Saturday. So it looks like Thursday. It looks like we can go back to Thursday nights every week, seven to nine. So where was I going with that? That were your favorite children. Oh, so back to the chat room. Uh, Three Dots been been with us. We've been doing the show for eight years, except for the last ten months. We've been doing the show for eight years, and Three Dots been with us pretty much from the get go. He, I think he came in. The second year, maybe the first, maybe right after the first, yeah, right after the first year would, that would be the second year. It's math for those of you that are, that are bad at skills. math. That's that's math. So, uh, Pikachu there, Pensacola Art. I met her on Dee Dee's show. I love Dee 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 Will, uh, Willingham. She's got the Ink, Inky Well channel. I love her so much. Uh, and I happened to be home the other day when I got the email that said Inkwell was live broadcasting live on Ustream. I go to the Ustream channel, and I've you know I've been thinking about coming back on the show. I've been I bought some I bought some software. I upgraded all my software software licenses. Uh, I bought some I bought some uh, organizational manuals because you know I need something that I'm never going to look at to help me get organized. Right? I bought a cal I brought a calendar and a journal. Look, it's just the cutest little journal too. Look, I'll show you. It's like a it's like a momentum journal. It's not not a journal like an art journal, but it's a journal like a momentum journal, where it lets me it, it lets me pick my three main focuses, and it gives me my with my measure of success. There's the monthly, and and then there's the weekly, and then there's the daily things on there. And it's just a little momentum, just a little momentum journal. And I thought, you know, that's a that's an amazing thing. So I put it together and stapled it up and made a little booklet out of it. So are you guys going to talk? <laughs> so I put it all together and made a little booklet out of it so I could have some more, some more craft to stack up over here out of the way. Maybe one day we'll tape it up and give it to the little one to draw, to draw and paint on. Wait, which little one? Which three? 
You guys aren't little anymore. I am too. You're autonomous. I I don't even have to. I don't even have to come down the stairs anymore. I just they just wake up and they go do what they do. She she wakes up to an alarm, comes downstairs and goes to school. Uh, they don't need us. Anymore. I have to walk out of the house at six forty-five every morning. So, yeah, so yeah, three dot eight years. Crazy. So, um, I have no idea what to journal about. Uh, I can, I was thinking that maybe I wanted to journal. Hey, sweetie, don't whine on, on the air. I was thinking that maybe I wanted to journal about being in absence. I could journal about uh, getting back in shape. I could journal about getting back into the habit of stuff. I could journal about just where we're going. So, I think. I think what we ought to do is we ought to uh, to get the intro to the YouTube video going, and then we'll we'll talk about it a little more on the other side. So uh, before we do anything else, though, take your headphones off. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Artistic Biker Live. We're getting ready to start the YouTube video, so hang on, and here we go. I don't even know if I can do this anymore. Hey, peoples! <laughs> Welcome to this week's episode of The Artistic Biker. Last time on The Artistic Biker, I had gone to some art supply training. And in my little art supply, my camera is all kind of jacked up. In my art, su well, that helped. In my art supply class, we paid all kinds of money to get all kinds of supplies to make all, to make these little, little bitty tubs of stuff. Here, I've got, I've got one of them. I made this. With a burnt stick, charcoal. This is this is nice charcoal. It's really good charcoal. But by the time I added up everything we spent on it, we spent three or four hundred dollars on it to make fifty dollars worth of art supplies. So that's what we journaled about, and we used the art supplies that we made. All of the everything on here except the ink is is paint, pastel, or or chalk that I made in the class. So we, I mean, we got some good art supplies out of it. But uh, this is. Uh, this is what we did last time, and it's not even last week. It's, it's like 10 months ago. So this week, we're going to journal a little bit about uh, new beginnings and starting over. So with that, let's just turn the page and get started. I don't know if new beginnings and starting over is accurate. This, this page is obviously going to evolve as we go. Where'd my knife go? Who's got my knife? A knife. A Which knife. one of you took my knife? A knife. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, that stuff is separated. We got to stir that up. Aww. Ten months of sitting there without anything going on. So anyway, we're—it's almost like being on a back porch again, Dave. We're in a garage. Can't talk. I'm stirring. Arting. No, I'm not arting this. I don't, think this I don't think this qualifies as arting. Well, I mean, I have to deal with paint, doesn't I'm it? Painting. I'm just going to start painting. What are you doing over there, little girl? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm working on a drawing I've been doing in class. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. You're drawing class? Yes, because I'm typically, typically one of the first people done. Don't put your hands over it. It's ugly. It's not... It's more than you've already laughed, Dave. Dave's not drawing. <laughs> yeah, Dave, the leaky back porch. We got a new roof on that house, but I, I can't sell that house because of all the damage done by that leaky roof. All right, what are you working on, kid? Just a person. You got anything going on on yours? Me? No. Yeah. No, you haven't started yours yet. I'm not yet. Make okay. it all blue. Art mom had a art <laughs> function. Her art teacher function tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, she's doing some kind of training. And then she's going to come home and join us. She's probably, I don't know if she's going to art with us or not. My spray bottle is by the laptop. Okay, I'll get it. Okay, it's either that or you sit here and sing to him while I go get it. Yeah, no. Oh, I'm going to need that spray bottle now. Okay. <laughs> so, she used to, when she was, when she was, uh, you know, when we started this, she was four. And I used to say, oh, crap, I've got to go back in the house and I've got to go get something. And I could sit there and I could tell her, sing something, baby. And she'd sit out here and she'd sing, I love my daddy. He's my favorite 
Daddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I was telling them about your greatest hits when you were a kid. To song. Oh, the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? No. The He's my favorite daddy. I love him so much. That's my favorite song ever. I haven't sang that song in a long time. Right? It's like you don't even love me anymore. Hey, I do. You're my favorite daddy. Still? You're my fa only I've, daddy. I've all the dads your mom brought home over the years. And the one, you. <laughs> This book doesn't have very many pages left in it, and quite frankly, that's a good thing because I'm tired of this book. All right. You want me to make the new one? Dave says, yes, a song. Let me dry this real quick. We'll take a little break, and we'll be right back. Keep gone. Okay, so the regulars of the show know we don't really go anywhere. That's just something we say for the YouTubers. Yeah, Dave, I set cameras up. We've got these cameras so that you can see their their cute little faces. We've got this camera so that you can see all of us going on. We've got this camera so you can see her artwork. We've got this camera so that we can see his artwork. We have this camera so that we can see my artwork. Truth be known, we have two more cameras. We actually have two more cameras. One of them is outside, and one of them is in my back pocket because I've got my phone Wi-Fi into my system. So if I need to travel, like if I need to go someplace else in the house, I can broadcast. But the sound system is not Wi-Fi in, so I have to figure out how to do that. All right, that's probably dry enough for that's, that's probably dry enough for our purposes. This is my daughter's walked up fiance. On fiance board. And I think that also allows play with the good baby. Who's the best daddy? Me. Don't even have to think. Don't even have to think about that one. <laughs> I may need more paint. This paint may have dried out. I think I might need more water. This paint is. Gone. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. Where's my new paint? Don't know. What? If only somehow you would think we would be organized. <laughs> but then that just wouldn't be our show. Um, I bought new paint. That's not it. That's not it. Let's see about using this one. Yeah. It's a little bitty purple. Yeah, it is a little bitty purple. What? Let's see about this one. This is they've been sitting for so long. They've separated. They've they've been abused. They've been abused. They've been abused. I don't know if we ran. I don't know if we ran her off or if she just fell off the interwebs. Who? That paint is separated. That's no good. How about this one? Luckily, I'm not limited to one one, color. one type of paint. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's a lot of paint. Oh, I smell of paint. <sighs> Don't need nearly that much paint in there. I'd probably need more than that. Ooh, I like that. I know what color to put on the background. I just whatever I whatever I'm, my mood is. Gotcha. Sometimes. Sometimes I just start grabbing random colors, and sometimes I have a very specific mood that I'm going with. Shoes. The image that I have in my mind tonight, purple and blues are going to be the best bet. So, look at me using my left hand like I know what it's for. So proud of you. Right? Most of the time. Well, most of the time when I paint with my left hand, it's like someone else is doing it for me. That was a bad, bad joke. <laughs> there we go. I think we 
it got better texture going on over here though. I don't know. That's gonna work for me. All right, and now I wonder where's my alcohol. The yeah, alcohol, alcohol, the rubbing alcohol. Found it. Let's make new show tropes. Draw a cat. <laughs> That's not a new show trope. <laughs> First one to draw a dragon wins. This alcohol is not working. Why is the alcohol not working? <laughs> I'll tell you what, let me dry that. And we'll figure something else out. Hi, right, Dorothy Gibbs. Can I call you Dot? Well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of the lonely street, I break through there. And my friend, I've been so lonely, baby. I've been so lonely. I've been so lonely. I could die. Hey, though it's always crowded, I still can find some room. How much paint did I put right there? That's going to take that long to dry. I thought I scraped it all off. Ah! What? I'm telling you, I'm out of practice. Dorothy says dots fine. Now we have two dots. Well, we have one dot and three dots. Now we need a two dot. You know what? I may not do anything else to that background. I may leave that background just like it is. Tell you what, let's let it sit for a little bit. I may leave that background just like it is. The more I look at it, the more I. Are you whining on the show? She wants to paint. A thousand people are listening to you whine right now. Well, two. That's like a thousand. Especially considering it's live. So, I kind of like this texture that's going on right here. So I don't know. Or honestly, I don't know what else I would want to do to this other than just. Um, I mean, I could doctor that. I could play with it. I know one thing I want to do is I want this paint to be thinner. I don't want that to take forever to dry. So I'm going to get rid of some of it. Just, just like that. So. All right. I'll tell you what. Do, do, do. I'll, tell you what we, I'll tell you what let's do. Let me think about that for a minute. Take your headphones off. Let me think about that for a minute, and I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll set we'll set it aside and we'll do what's on your easel. Already? Yeah. This is gonna be a fast show. We're out of practice. I'm we're not. we're out of practice. So here's where we do the dance. What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? Okay. So I have been a lazy, lazy, lazy man. But lately, I haven't done a whole lot of anything lately. Lately, though, I have been uh, taking my sketchbook out with us when we go on our little adventures. Uh, when we go on our little adventures, uh, I've been taking my sketchbook out with me, and and I'm, I'm, I'm working in my sketchbook. I'm drawing. I'm painting. When we go someplace, I'm starting to... I'm starting to use my sketchbook a whole lot more. And that's that's fun. 
You know, I have to be careful with my sketchbook. Ustream has a has an extremely anti-nude policy, and I have to be careful with my sketchbook because there's sometimes there's figure art in there, and Ustream will kick you off. So that's one thing that's been going on. And then, I mean, there's stuff back here too. But I think just carrying my sketchbook around with me is is you see my drafts. Carrying my sketchbook around with me has been a has been a big bonus. And then I've been doing some faces again. And you know, I, I keep wanting to get better and better at faces, so I've been doing I've been trying to do more and more faces. These are all since since the last show I've done these faces all since the last show so that's that's pretty much all that's on my easel besides that's the last one that I did and I did the hell I did that one a month ago that was February and then I have some and again I have to be careful I can't go through this book but I have some gestures that I that I did in figure drawing I have a whole book of figure drawings that I've done now and I've gone through, I'm on my third one of these with figure drawings, and I really like how it's going. But I can't show you. I can't I can't show you this on Ustream because Ustream will kick me off. But when it's finished, I'll do a YouTube video just on this one. But it won't be live. And then girl two over here has on her easel. A lot of things. What are you gonna show? Them? Okay. I draw on it every day. So you gotta speak up because the microphone's way over here. Well, then my most recent picture that I'm really proud of is I do it big. It's upside down. But it's round. It feels big. And I colored it too. Nice. And then I do It's upside down. <laughs> I did tweet that I'm live, Dot, but um, I don't know. I... If we haven't done a show in 10 months, we don't quite have the following that we're, that we're used to have. And then, Junior, do you have anything to show that you want to show besides what is this? A water magic dragon. A water magic dragon. Does that mean that it is a... It does magic and it can swim. So it's a Pokemon? No. It's actually just a dragon. Actually just a dragon. Okay. So... That is what's on my easel. That is what was on your easel. We didn't we didn't advertise that we were going to do a show, so uh, we didn't we didn't advertise that we were going to do a show. So uh, I didn't get anybody to email any easels to me. But if you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to. Blade at Artistic Biker Live with easel in the subject line. And what we'll do is every week we'll stop the show right after I do the background. We'll stop the show and we'll show off some easels and talk about it. Because the biggest part of the show, the whole reason we do this show is to encourage people to do stuff. Uh, if, I, if, if I can do bad art live in front of people, you, you can do art in your living room. So that's, that's really the whole point is to be inspiration to others. And if, if you're doing a little bit of something, share it. Maybe you can help inspire somebody else to do something too because that's what, that's honestly, that's what we're all about. So with that, this is not quite dry. So Let's I'm going to dry it just a little bit more. We will take a little break and we will be right back. Okay, you know, we don't really go anywhere. That's just something we say for the YouTubers. I can tell you this is not going to work. Right here, I don't know if you can see it. Right here, this box of paints is not going to work right here. So I've got I've to move that. But, Dot, if you and, if you and 3 dot Diva Dave could go out on Twitter and grab people by the hair and drag them in, that'd be great.
All right. That's enough of that nonsense. 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 I still nonsense. haven't colored it. Oh, gosh. All right. We're going to have to figure out this space issue. Let's see. I need... So we're out of time. I need black. I want yellow. I want blue. I want white. No, I seriously, I have a whole other set of paints somewhere. Because... Check out my See, and I could use the spray paint, but I have kids in the room. Just ask us to step out or open the garage. Let the stray cats in. Ah, yeah, we can let the paint. The paint could have amazing effects on the stray cats. Okay. Okay. Man has the blow dryer for mine. He's gone. Need a palette. So Dave, what have you been up to, man? We lost Doc. Buddy, I need you to stand like that. No. Put this down. Put one hand in your pocket and the other one hand down. I've seen some pictures of Sue and the girls on Thank you. On Facebook. Those girls are really growing up. I hope that you have bought some shotguns. Because I think that's going to be important to you here very shortly. No. I feel for you. I mean, I know what it's like to have a house full of pretty girls. <laughs> yeah, mom and my sister. Well, since my baby let me. Let's see here. Let's start with more. I need some white. We used to use. I don't know. I used to use. Um, I can start saving my applesauce cups. Yeah, applesauce cups. Hopefully that's enough. All right. So let's see here. Let's take a little bit of that white. Let's fill that in right there. Can't talk, already. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spread this around down here because I just want this to be different than what's above it. I don't really want. This is not going to stay white. This is just set boundaries. What you have to Dave, who's here? The zombies. The zombie apocalypse. Oh, that's what. Yeah. That's you mean the iPhone apocalypse. <laughs> Why? I'm the iPhone. What did the iPhone ever do to you? Hi, Miss Allie. Hey. 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 Children. What I do? Did I spray you? Yes. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go across there. I can see where that is. You like this? Are you? Probably that old Dad Jackson too. Sure. It's totally different. Pink hero stuff. No. No. Wait, what? I need the hair dryer again. Why? No! 
Leave it be. Let it blow away. Moya, you're gonna make it more wet. Girl, too, you're gonna make it more wet. <laughs> dork. You're a, bit, you're a bit of a dork. I made her up uh, her own name. Just let it go, son. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. It's gonna be glossy with paint. Let it go. I don't know how paint gets all over everything in the studio. I wonder how. I don't. I need to fix that. <laughs> I splashed her again. Can't talk, Arding. So, I mean, what can we talk about? We could talk about the weather. We got ice in Houston. That's ridiculous. We could talk about soccer, which makes my daughter whine. We could talk about the fact that I've let everything in the world come before my art. Which is irritating. We could talk about the fact that I missed Garth Brooks at the rodeo this year. Garth Brooks performed at the Houston Rodeo two nights ago. No whining. And I missed it. His eyes were cold and restless. His wounds were almost healed. She gave half of Texas just to change the way he feel. I need to step outside for just a minute. She knows his love's in Tulsa. She knows he's got paper. She knows he's got go. Flesh and blood, it's that damned old rodeo. How oh, well, it's bulls and blood, it's dust and mud. It's a white and another gold in the buckle, he'll win in the next door. <laughs> torn apart by the wood. She does her best to hold him. What? My jacket keeps getting snagged on the wood, but I don't mind taking my jacket off. 
Just trying to subdue that a little bit. She does her best to hold him. Here comes the cow. His need for it controls him, and it backs against the wall. You don't think you missed? You don't think you'd like to see um, Garth Brooks? What are you drawing and painting? What are you painting? I don't know. The randomness? A really good randomness. <laughs> it's in the back of my sketchbook, which I finished. It's just a random little feather. Let's try that. You've got glue on the table. Sorry. And it's uh, really hard to get off. But I have nails now and I got them off. So I guess, you know, the more I think about it, the more I think, the more I wonder if maybe the issue is that I've been doing this so long. But I just feel like I ought to be better at it, you know? You ever get that way? You ever... <gasps> Mommy! <laughs> you ever get to the point where you're, 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 you've just been doing something for so long that you feel like you ought to be better at it than you are and there's no excuse for you not being better at it? It's, to me, I mean, that, I get kind of embarrassed about. I get kind of embarrassed about not being any. Not getting any better after all these years. I mean, we just mentioned a while ago, it's been eight years. Yeah, it's, the door, sweetie. it's been eight years, and. I just after eight years, I ought to be able to render a human body. I ought to be able to render a face. I ought to be able to draw three dot diva girl like one of my French ladies. I'm still learning how to draw bodies in general, so be proud. And that's just it. When do you ever stop learning how to draw? I mean. This page is moving and it's messing my mixing up. I like to mix on the canvas, and when the paper moves around, it's messing up my mixing. So, I mean, when do you, when do you, when are you, when are you done learning how to do it? I don't know. All I know is I'm trying to attempt to draw a hand and it's not working. I just did too. Well, a hand. Drawing a hand? I did. Where? Oh. I, it, it, it just looks like color from over here because I can't see. I'm too far away. I'm blind. Alright, I need a different brush. That brush is too fat. Do you need the one out of my hair? No. Okay. I need. I don't want too small a brush because I really don't want to get too much into the details. I just want to. Details are important. They're not. <gasps> yes, they are. No, they're not. They are to me. The details are what get you hung up and into not finishing anything. You find yourself. You find yourself not not being able to finish anything because you're tied up in trying trying to get all the details and and spend all your time worrying about how this doesn't look right this doesn't look like that this yeah that's my entire day I'm still trying to learn how to do body poses right and I don't even have the basics down 
But I mean, when are you finished? When? I'm finished when I trace it with pen and color it. When when do you feel like you've when do you feel like you've done it enough that you can say I'm good enough. I can be I'm an artist. I have an answer for that one. No. No. I, I have an answer. Not. I have an answer for that one. You're an artist when you can when you can look yourself in the eye and say you're an artist. Well, you can't really look yourself in the eye, so that does, that doesn't really make any sense. But when you can when you can look in the mirror and say, I'm an artist, because you can't let somebody else define you. You have to be able to you have to be able to define yourself. So as soon as you can look in a mirror and say, Yes, I'm an artist then I think you are. So have to wait a very, very long time. I have a shirt that says it. I know you do. You're special, though. I don't have... I, you know what I do? It's pink, though. So I don't wear it. But There's nothing wrong with that. I wear it when I paint. It's got paint splatters on it. It's been a long time ago. Where's my brush pen? <laughs> I love my brush pen. I like my that's exactly right, Miss Ellie, and I know you fell off, but that's exactly right. Perfection is the enemy. The more that brush pen is dried up, crust, oh. crusty. Over here. I'm proud of you. I'm so, so happy and proud for you. And I have color pencils and pens. Be back. I love my brush pen. <laughs> I tell you, I did sign up for. Uh, I did sign up for a hand drawing course. I'm taking a, I'm taking a hand drawing, a hand. Workshop is a better word for it. So that'll be fun. We'll, re we'll report on that as it happens. Real men wear pink. I wear pink. I have some really nice pink shirts. I only have one pink shirt that fits. Red colors don't do good with people that are clumsy. think of something inspirational to say about this. I don't want this to be a negative message. So let's start with something negative. Don't! Don't give up on dreams. <laughs> don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. I'm about to show you something and it is very beautiful. I still have my color pencils from this summer. <laughs> and I use them every day. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna have that stupid song stuck in stuck in my mind. Which one? Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. But you know what's a better song than that other one? Which other one? Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. I just rickrolled my friends. Dad. What? Pick a hair color. Blonde, ginger. One hair color. Bruno, uh, ginger. Can't talk, Harding. Mm -hmm. Same. Uh, ladies, and Tonight. don't hurt yourself. I'll I'll always cut away from you. Yep. You need to sharpen this. I do need to sharpen that. Fear of perfection. Is that the right way to say that? Yes. Fear of perfection. Would it be fear of perfection or would it be fear of judgment? Imp fear of imperfection. Fear of judgment. Fear. Don't let fear of perfection make you impotent. No, that's not right. That's oh. inner for weeks. Don't let, don't let perfection hold you back. Oh, I like that one. Hold back. a lot of noise of color pencils. I'm sorry. Can't talk. Arting. <laughs> there we go. I like that. Don't let fear of perfection hold you back. I mean, does that even make sense? Don't let, yes. don't let fear of perfection hold you back. Cause I mean, it's like, I'm not good enough. Well, like I can't paint. This is my, these are my good materials. I can't, I can't paint with my good materials because I'm not good enough. People, you know, it's a waste of materials. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. Nobody wants to see that anyway. I paint on grocery sacks. This is a book for those of you. Uh, for, the, for those of you, uh, very nice. I don't. Aww. I don't know if uh, I can't. I can't tell if, if uh, uh, Dot and uh, uh, Pikachu are still watching. But this this is a book made of uh, grocery sacks, a homemade book, bound and covered with with my own personal stuff. And you can tell. I mean, it's, there's some cool stuff in here. There's some bad stuff in here. But you can't let that stop you. You can't. You got to. You got to just keep going. And I'd let it hold me. I'd let it hold me down for too long. Ten months is a is a long time to go without doing anything. So uh, one of my one of my new things. I showed this. I showed this uh, this journal off at the beginning of the at the at the beginning of the show. And I I had. Uh, I wrote down some big, some big goals in here, and, and one one of the big goals was to uh, draw and paint every day. Uh, draw draw and paint every day. Practice my guitar every day because I haven't, I haven't even practiced my guitar in, in several weeks now. Uh, I can't even, I can't even get her to practice her bass, and I'm not setting a good Hold example. Up. Oh my God, she plays the double bass. No. She's got this bass thing. I'll get. You, I'm gonna sneak you some video of it. She's got this bass. Look, like that. Boom, 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 Vote boom, against boom, it. Boom, 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 Vote boom, against boom, it, please. 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 I can probably record a dog song. I think I'm recording on it, of it on my phone. Playing a double bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's my height. I know it's tall. It is very tall. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm trying to get her to practice her double bass, and in the meantime, I'm thinking, I haven't, I haven't drawn, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't set, played guitar. I'm setting a hell of a hell of an example for her. So that's part of my practiced new. Practiced three days out of this week. 
So that's that's one of my new things is to is to. What was that noise? I thought you passed the gas. No, it's a chair. Like wow, baby. No more beans for you. I didn't even have beans. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I know the show was short tonight. Uh, it'll when we get back into the swing of things. We're, this is our first show in a long time, so. As we get back into the swing of things, I think you'll see we'll start having some more easels. People can send easels in to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel, and I can share your work to help inspire other people. Um, we'll have some more subject matter. I've got some guests lined up that I want to talk to. I've got some people that, that I want to bring into the studio, and I've got some people that I want to go art with, like I'm, like uh, Cinnamon, Cinnamon Cooney and I are friends, and... and uh, uh, Jamie Lynn lives around here now. There's three or four YouTubers that live around here that I haven't even met besides Cinnamon and, besides Cinnamon and, and uh, Jamie Lynn. So we're going to start. Oh, we started, we started at 7. Uh, very nice. We started at 7. So uh, anyway, we're going to wrap it up a little early tonight. But I thank you so much for joining me. Be sure and tune in next week. Same Artistic Biker time. Same Artistic Biker channel. And then we Good. dance. And we dance until somebody says they see me dancing. I because see dancing. when they see me dancing, I know the log, the lag has caught up to what is on the television, right, internet, whatever, interwebs. So we yeah. dance until somebody says, and you have to be careful because Dave's in the background telling people not to tell me that they see me dancing. So that uh, that I will continue to dance because they think it's funny to see yeah, a fat like a man dance, and it's not funny to see a fat man dance because I'm gonna. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.